I always felt truly alive when I was flying high. Gliding through the clouds and under the stars, being one with the sky. Maybe. After all these years I have been here, that is what I'm missing the most. I never thought that my dream would turn into my prison. I wanted to become the pioneer of the floating islands and unveil the mystery around them. These islands have been avoided by other pilots. The winds are unpredictable and strong. But I wanted to uncover the mystery. No matter what, I thought I was prepared. But then, the storm came. This is today I will finish my airplane. Oh no, my blueprints! Oh no, my volume! It's a little loud. Okay. Hey, hey guys, my name's Dan, and welcome back to Hickville Productions and another indie game from Game Jolt. This one is Paper Air. Or Paper. I think it's Paper. Pop Pear. Anyway, it's this little paper world, and as you see, my goal is to go and fetch... Ooh, these camera controls are so interesting. I have to go find all my blueprints because today is the day of my life changes as I take off. Anyway, from what I remember reading, this game was designed by five, five college students, I believe, and then another college student, I think, did the music. Uh, anyway, I'll try to include, like, credits or something in the video if I can. Either way, I'll be linking to the game in the description, so if you want to check it out for yourself, you're more than welcome. Hey, blueprints! Anyway, I was debating what to play tonight, and I just wasn't in the mood for playing any of the things I usually play currently on the channel. Um, and I will be finishing Fighters of Freddy's this week, but... Or at least, night seven. How, how do I... I kind of... I, wow, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're a little far and close. Very close. And far. And if we just tap it, okay. Tap it. I'm... Wow, this is like... It's weird. It almost feels like N64 kind of uh, camera controls. Ha! Kick the blueprint! There we go. I found the right button. Gotcha. Only five to go. I totally sound like that guy, right? Oh, look at that! I'm so, oh, I'm, oh, man. Oh, I'm trying to find all the blueprints. I'm gonna cause you know what I mean? Okay, so the pad itself, and not the joystick, which is what I would normally use, is the camera. That's really awkward, because I'm currently using a Xbox 360-style controller, so the movement stick and the camera control are both on the left side, so I have to stop moving. If I could just grow some vodka. I don't know exactly how many other games this team has made before. This might be like their first one. I think it's the first one they've published on Game Jewel from what I remember seeing at a glance. I saw screenshots and I was like, it looks pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. I don't per se prefer graphics over gameplay. I prefer gameplay over graphics anyway. I've been alone for so long. Well, now you got us, buddy. You got me, you got them. It's just me and nature. And me and them. Did you, you did not just hear me, did you? You were too busy monologuing. Anyway, I don't uphold graphics over gameplay at all. Well, okay, I didn't think I could even run up there. Maybe I should get off of the beaten path. Or maybe I should stay on it, because there is a blueprint to fly. And then there's actual... The page of flies? Page butterflies? What's the button? Is this button? Wah! Two of six. It's like Slenderman. Except so much more happy. 
<laughs> I'm gonna find all the pages. I don't even remember how many pages I found in Slender Man. Was it so long ago? Uh, I'm resisting making a reference to an old college film of mine. Um, because that's what I went to college for, actually, was communications and with a focus on broadcast and filmmaking, and then I went on to study more filmmaking. So, oh my gosh, so I met up with my friends today from college that I haven't seen in like a year. It was awesome, and I miss them so much. It was great hanging out again, and we ended up watching one of our old films because most, actually, yeah, all of them are in it at one point. Uh, I say our old film. I was the one who kind of roped them all into doing it because I needed actors. <laughs> but it was it was a great time making it, and but watching it back now, I'm like, oh my gosh, if I just knew what I knew now. Funny little mushrooms. <sighs> Ah, let me. There's something like when you're a type of person who likes to make stuff and create things, you will at some point in your life, you come to a point where you look back at your old work and you just shudder and you laugh and you're like, wow, this is so bad. Because <laughs> you, you learn and you grow and you mature as a artist or a writer or a musician or a creator of whatever sort it is. Or even as like... You know, an athlete, I suppose you could see that sort of thing. Like, look back at like your old times or like weights that you used to lift, and you're like, wow, this weight's are really light now. I just realized I'm just kind of wandering around at this point. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going. But it's pretty. And the music is nice. I like the music. Wait, this is where I started. Boo to you, sir. Wait, what's over here? Can I go over there? Can I swim? Old man Jenkins, can you swim? You cannot swim. But you still wonder where that water comes from. You wonder as you wander where the water went. Where the water was. Oh no, the, the dreaded water. I cannot bear the dreaded water. The water is too watery. And I am but a paper man. I will grow soggy. And maybe even begin to devolve. Devolve? Dissolve. Yeah. <laughs> Airplane testing grounds. Oh. This is a perfect place to fly a plane. If only I had more blueprints to finish making the plane. Ah, the camera's so weird. I built this for myself. So when you said this was a perfect place, you just kind of... Is it because of the rocks? Is it because of those rocks that you have your, like, your ramp facing? Those very solid looking horrible rocks? So many near death experiences. Well, yeah! Do you not see the rocks? Then again, I mean, I suppose if you can't make it over the rocks, you're not gonna make it off the island. And it would be better to crash into the rocks than it would be to get off the island and then just die. Potentially. Wait, can I just take this down? Can I do that? Ah, I kick you. <laughs> Wait, is that an actual like, oh no! Okay, I don't have a health bar. Probably for the better. Probably for the better. This feels really awkward because I'm reaching my, uh, my right thumb across the controller like this to try it. Turn the camera while I walk. Oh, it feels weird. I could use Ross the keyboard, but I have the controller, so I feel like being a stubborn little gnat and using it. Is there a blueprint over this way? Possibly. Maybe. Maybe not. This looks like a failed to a plumped. This is a failed to plumped. It totally a plummeted. Well, I had to try. Let's go anywhere. I'm thinking. Oh. That actually goes somewhere. What is all this? What is all this? A lighthouse? I hope someone would see this light. And they didn't, huh? Or they just avoided it, because they're like, all right, crazy man Jenkins lives up there. This switch requires a little more kick. So, oh, oh, do you, do you want me to kick it? You do? 
so I have to go kick all the switches? Okay, I'm not even sure why, but I'll go do it. Let's just go kick all the switches. Oh dear. Aww. Aww. Boom! Yeah! Maybe I should actually face the switch. Yeah! So are we turning it off? Am I turning off the, the lighthouse? For some reason? Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure I was supposed to be escaping in this game, and I think he actually is going to be making it off the island. Um, but... Hey, yeah, we'll find out. <laughs> Watch, him do this all out of order. Uh, Do I kick this? No, but I took it. Okay, so that actually, I think, is a part that I must have needed? I don't know. I'm so good at this game. I'm getting parts before I even have the blueprints. I know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> no, I don't. But hey, if I knew what I was doing, playing the game wouldn't be nearly as fun. It's the figuring it out that I like. Oh, I want to stop slouching, but the height of my desk is just so awkward with my chair. So I'm thinking maybe there's more in here or more over this way. We actually use the mini map like a, you know, someone who's a little more MLG pro and a little less like a goober. We'll go this way and actually use the map to tell where we're going. Oh, I go up over this hill, around the bushes, these very solid bushes that do not move if you bump them. And we just head this this way? Oh, maybe I could have stayed on the path. Or maybe not. Or maybe I could run into more solid plants. Or yeah, no, I totally could have just stayed on the path. The map doesn't line up quite right <laughs> with, with the, uh, really? I'm over here. So where are the other blueprints? Hmm. Oh, there's one right here. How many times did I walk by you? And th is there anyone else on the tree? Before I go walking aimlessly past another one? Oh, not one there. Okay, I think that's it for the tree. This is my first airplane. Hey, does this actually go back somewhere? It does. Oh, this is interesting. Why can't I go through here? Can I go through here? Oh, I can go around in about, yeah. Welcome to my living room. I wish I could understand these drawings. Uh, it... If that's an airplane, it's really weird looking. So, I do see a butterfly. I walked right past you earlier. Okay, we gotta flush you off. So we're gonna kick it a button. No, no, no. We kick it a button. There we go. Come back! Where'd he go? Oh, he's going that way. Okay, I see him. You back here, blue bigger fly! I, I kinda need you. On my way out of here. Okay, that leaves two. Wait, is that a butterfly? Please tell me that has not been there this whole time. Please tell me I did not walk past that repeatedly. Please tell me <laughs> I'm better than that. Oh my gosh. Gotcha. Cords steering wheel is all I need now. Oh, oh, the steering wheel was on the crashed airplane. I believe that was the one you said you had to try, which I believe was at the airship building area. I already got the core, if I remember correctly. And it was by one of the crashed planes. And ah ha ha I believe this is it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now we just gotta go over here and climb a little spiral ramp. Spiral stair ramp, please. Man, this guy's gonna be so exhausted from running around, he's not gonna have the energy to fly his plane out of here. He'd be like, I, I need to take a nap. Alright, let me take a nap before I escape. 
this island. M maybe walk around it one last time for all sentimental reasons. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it might be a sentimental old man. Or maybe I don't give two cahooties. Whatever a cahootie is. I don't even know. It's one in the morning. Shush. We all know I make up words at one in the morning. Oh, snap. Cutscene. Are you kidding? Oh, not again! That wasn't there before. What do you mean this rock wasn't there before? <laughs> what do you mean the wreckage wasn't there before? What are you talking about, old man? So you just, you, you're wearing a parachute. Oh wait, this cave wasn't here before. Oh. Well, this is weird. Huh. Okay, this is not the direction I thought this was going to go. Oh, it must have fallen out of the plane. Yeah, nab. This place feels strange. With its paper stalactites. Which look pretty cool, I'll be honest. I have a bad feeling about this. There's gears on the wall. Oh look, it's the blooper door! It's these drawings again. Hang on, I need to... <laughs> that almost looks like water trying to build. But I don't... Oh... Whoa, where am I? You're in the core of the floating island, yo! This is how the floating island flies! The floating island is a plane! Do I have to look at this first? Is this... some kind of organ? Organ. Organ? Like the instrument? Oh, now you want to say things when you kick. Hey! I put that there. Oh. Okay, that's what I'm supposed to do. So then, if we come over here and kick it, the lever, it all starts up. And you could have flown out of here all along. I was right. Ha. Huh. <laughs> the sound voice with this guy's voice is just adorable. And there it is. He flew away finally. And he got to take the entire island with him. Oh, hey, look, the credits. Told you I was gonna add him in the video. So, yeah. That was it. That was, that was really cute. Uh, should it have taken me so long to find the butterflies, though? <laughs> Why did it take me so long to find those butterflies? I don't know. That was kind of silliness on my part. But that was really pretty. The musical, the musical, the music was enjoyable. I liked uh, the art style they went with. And it was, you know, it was a good little story, but I predicted it once we got to the cave and we saw, like, uh, I didn't even really see the cockroach. I saw the lights turn around and I was like, oh, hey, the island is a plane. But I don't know, that just could have been me making a lucky guess. Uh, either way, I enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed it, why not go check it out at Game Jolt and see what other stuff come from these devs in the future. Anyway. Thank you very much for watching. Give yourself a hug and go out and share a smile with someone because you never know who might need it. And until the next video, I hope to see you and all y'all later.